The first commercial Greyhound racetrack in America was built in 1919. By 1930, there were 65 dog tracks, all of them illegal. Today, Greyhound dog racing is being outlawed across the country, and there are only a handful of dog tracks remaining. Innocent young dogs are subjected to unspeakable cruelty and abuse. In Florida, for example, before voters outlawed dog racing, a Greyhound died there every three days. And that's just what we see. But because of some recent chilling undercover investigative video, we now know what goes on behind the scenes. It's called live lure training, and it's truly heartless. Gray 2K USA uncovered cruel live lure training at three Greyhound breeding farms in Oklahoma, Texas, and Kansas. In Elgin, Texas, Greyhounds are bred and live lure trained and then sold for racing in other states. In Keota, Oklahoma, young Greyhounds are brought in from other states to be live lure trained and then sent to commercial racetracks in states like West Virginia, Iowa, and Florida. Gray 2K USA conducted an investigation over many months following leads that we had that live lure training was ongoing. Live lure training is using live rabbits to train greyhounds. And in the process, the rabbits are killed. The video footage we have obtained is bone chilling, sickening. It is very, very hard to watch. I saw three men come out and sure enough, they started pulling out these live rabbits. started sending dogs out in groups between three to five. One of the things that I was surprised by was the degree of cruelty. Um, and I've been an animal cruelty investigator for 19 years, and this was, this was pretty bad. The second thing I was surprised by was that the rabbits scream, and they scream loud enough for it to be heard hundreds of feet away. And they would chase the rabbit, pin the rabbit, and tear the animal apart alive. A deputy sheriff is shown to be one of the participants. He's actually the former chief of police of the town in which this investigation video was shot. Live lure training is the dirty little secret of the Greyhound racing industry. Everybody knows that it's happening, but nobody has been able to prove it until now. I've seen some really bad stuff. You've named it, and I've probably seen it. And there's not a lot that makes me grit my teeth while I'm filming it, but this was one of those things. It's a conspiracy of cruelty that encompasses all racing states across this country. People have to ban greyhound racing everywhere. In 1978, a bill was introduced to make it a federal crime to engage in live lure training. But the industry promised to police itself, and that bill never became law. Today, the horrific practice of live lure training is now illegal. The torture of rabbits and their procurement for torture is subject to felony treatment under anti-cruelty laws. We have the evidence, and we have filed an official complaint with federal and state authorities so that we can put a stop to this merciless industry that is cruel from start to finish.
This is a recalcitrant industry with a compulsion for cruelty. Even after the National Greyhound Association was alerted to Great 2K USA's successful investigations, more rabbits were tortured at a farm just outside NGA headquarters in Abilene. The Kansas Greyhound trainer is none other than Ursula O'Donnell, who has a long and corrupt history in the racing world. In 2002, she was implicated in a grisly scheme to kill thousands of unwanted Florida dogs by shooting them in the head. The felony charges against her were only dropped when her alleged accomplice died. She remains licensed and working in the industry to this day.